I wanted to do a little bit of a talk. You all know I love talking about cubing content, right? I made a little observation. I wanted to talk about cubing content evolving. Do you all know about total speed cubing productions? They've been doing something real interesting. They make these like ultra short little documentary style videos. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this person really knows what they're doing on YouTube. Their views are great. They're getting way more views than they have subscribers. They're on the road to 1K. They're on the road to that monetization. They get lots of views. They get lots of interaction. They edit their videos very well. I have to say their microphone use does keep me up at night because they, they sort of talk like this onto the microphone and everything's very popular. Like everything's super distorted and awful and poppy and they need to take the microphone out of their mouth. Just some little free advice from an old music graduate boomer here, but just take the microphone out of your mouth because it makes it very difficult for me to actually watch your videos. But they are very good. They are very well made and I like what they're doing. Very, very short, very, very digestible, very, very clickable. I really, really enjoy what they're doing. Look at how they're able to trend hop real quick, right? They're able to jump onto the FMC thing, which we'll talk about later. They're able to jump onto the Rubik's, the largest Rubik's cube, talking about Max Park doing speed stacking, all this kind of stuff. Look, there's Japper. That's how I first found out about them because they made a, a video about Jasper and that got shared. But I really am interested in what they're doing. I think cubing content is evolving. Interested to know if you know them. If you don't know them, go and subscribe. Go and comment on one of their videos and tell them that Mike sent you. That would be pretty funny because I would like to get in touch with them and, and be able to react to their videos because I think they're pretty cool. So they're doing that. They're not doing entertaining videos like our mate Ting Man was talking about. They're not doing... I mean, they are doing entertaining videos. They're not doing fun videos. You know, like in that sort of old 2019 meta, one cube, many cubers, cube songs, all that kind of stuff. Someone else who surprised me, and this is why it really jumped into my head and I thought it was worth mentioning, was Cubing Encoded. Cubing Encoded, Mike. Speaking of 2019 meta, that's deep in it. But look at Cubing Encoded's latest video, right? We know Cubing Encoded, it's all very cute. It's all very pranky. It's all very challenging. I've not watched the whole thing yet, but they created like a little documentary on the downfall of V-Cube, which I was like, that's a bit of a sidestep for them. Because look at their, their, their cubes are always a bit challenging. They've dropped off for sure since they went to uni. They've gone to Berkeley. They're very, they're a very clever person, obviously. Wait a minute. Isn't Tim at Berkeley? I wonder if they're Berkeley friends. Shout out Berkeley people. So yeah, look at the previous content from them. They're, they're, they're coming back after their, their big hammers used to get like 30 to 50,000 views, something like that. Then it never really bounced back after that. They started to drop off a little bit as they weren't doing regular videos. Then the last couple of videos, girlfriend controls my 3x3 solve challenge, 2019 meta, pranking my girlfriend with an impossible Rubik's cube, 2019 meta, in my, this is my opinion, I'm not trying to be um, rude or nothing like that, I just, I'm just, I watch all this stuff all the time, and then they've come in with this sort of documentary, and I thought, Ooh, that's interesting. So we're seeing people like Total Speed Cubing Productions, who people have opinions about in the chat, and we'll get to that in a second. And we're seeing Cubing Encoded. Is this the start of a new arc for Cubing Encoded? I suppose it depends what the views do. It's only 10 hours, 1.5K. It's not a ripper by his standards at all. We'll see what that goes. I'm interested to see if Encoded brings out any more stuff. So here we go. I want to Let's talk about, let's get them on the screen. Total Speed Cubing Productions. I like what they're doing. I think they know what they're doing. They are pounding out loads of videos and getting loads of data. Mr. Beast, who, if you're on YouTube, you should listen to. I know it's a cliche, but you should listen to. He reckons 50 to 100 videos before you know your audience. You might have noticed that's what I'm doing at the moment. The live streaming and the clipping. I'm trying to find out what my audience wants, where my audience is and what they actually want. I'm being very analytical about it. I'm trying to stream every week apart from the school holidays and then create three clips from that just to make interesting stuff, you know, just to give people stuff to watch and see what people respond to and to practice being sad about videos not popping off as well. I'm still not good at it, but I'm getting better at not beating myself up up when a video totally flops. James finds TSP problematic in a similar way to Matthew Mayernick. I don't know if I've watched much Matthew Mayernick, to be honest. Often the analysis isn't very good. I mean, arguably, James, that's my whole shtick. My analysis is terrible. I rely on people telling me things. I'm here trying to learn stuff, I suppose, is what I'm trying to do. Curious Nick, a bit clickbaity sometimes. Again, I'm, have you seen my thumbnails recently? That's the game. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get those clicks. You've got to fight for them. I'm trying to do good clickbait as opposed to bad clickbait. I'm trying not to actively lie. I'm trying to at least tell you what's coming in the video in a way that, that I can feel comfortable sleeping at night. You know what I mean? Cookie Robber, often their analysis isn't very good or there's actual misinformation. I hope that they, I hope that they are good at 
clearing up misinformation, there was a community post of theirs which said, as the total Speedcubing Productions content team, we would like to apologize for our latest video, which is rightly pointed out by many of you as very much clickbait and added no real value. I don't know what video this was and it's killing me. If you can tell me what video it was, honestly, it would make me happy. They didn't say that they've deleted it, but this type of content is not what we aim to produce. So this kind of demonstrates to me that they really do know what they're doing. They're out here testing hard. What's their most popular one? Let's have a look because I'm interested. I like to see people doing well. I like to see metas changing. Something about somebody cheating is their top one. This cubing genius almost. Is that? Who's that? Incredible cuber that only goes I don't have permission to watch this. I shouldn't really do this. Yet. Did they have it in the description? That is Andrew. I was going to say, is that Andrew Feng? And of course it is. That's amazing. So I obviously I'm biased and I love that he's um, making content about New Zealand cubers. That's great. It's also, it's funny how they're literally copying Total Running Productions whole style. Oh, are they? I mean, that happens though. I'm copying. Have you ever heard of H3 Podcast? Have you ever heard of Moist Critical? Have you ever heard of Mudahar? Some Ordinary Gamers Podcast? I'm totally, I mean, I'm not copying their editing style, but I'm totally copying their content style. You do a podcast and you make clips. And I'm not afraid to... <laughs> to tell you that's what I'm doing. I'm wholesale taking somebody else's format and going, oh my gosh, that could work in cubing. Let's give it a try. Their videos are hit or miss, Eggy reckons. Curious Nick says my clickbait is funny. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. The video about Jay, they kind of spent making numbers up. Okay. Is that, the, that was the one about the cubing millionaire. Interesting. Okay. I don't know enough about that to comment on that, but I hear you. I hear you. I will be watching them with interest anyway, I think is what I'm saying. And who else did I want to look at? I also wanted to, this is generally, I just wanted to give a bit of a shout out to Clicky Studios over here, who did the streaming from the New Jersey Championships 2024. I do not have permission to show any of it, apart from I'll maybe show you the, the preview. So they um, they did a really, really good job. It wasn't perfect, but they are just some young guys who are like doing the thing. And I think that's so admirable and so awesome. Um, so I encourage you, they've only got 126 subscribers, which is freaking criminal. If you're watching this, you need to go and subscribe to Clicky Studios because they did a killer job at the New Jersey Championships 2024, just off their own back live streaming, which is great. I really love that and I really support that. So to summarize, th the meta of YouTube speed cubing content, we're seeing a lot more, I guess, news. Maybe it's gossip, maybe it's drama. I don't think I'm involved in making drama content because as I've said before, I'm an adult on the internet and most of the people I talk about are in some cases children. So I got to be real careful not to be an idiot. You see what I mean? I can't be out here being a bully and, and neither should anyone else regardless of your age. Don't be a bully on the internet. But we're definitely getting into a, a gossip meta. I think. Are we? Possibly? What do you think about that? I'd love to know in the chat what you reckon. I'm all, I'm so interested to get feedback on what I've been doing the last few weeks. I'm going to try and keep this rolling for the rest of the year so I can find out where I'm going and what people are into. But I like that we're getting into more commentary anyway, you know? Because there's so much out there to be talked about. And I think... People like Total Speed Cubing Productions, I think they are at the at the at the pointy end of that. And I think there have to be people out there making mistakes to an extent. I don't think I've made any absolute clangers yet. I've been wrong about stuff, but I've not had to like full on apologize for anything yet. I really hope that doesn't happen, but it's a very good, you know, it's a, there's a very good chance that I will one day, but I will be ultra careful to be ultra respectful. I think unboxings and stuff have are are useful. They are still useful and they'll never go away. Um, but they're not the main thing that I'm on cubing YouTube for. I'm really not. So as and as well as that commentary stuff, people are starting to step up the live stream game and that's why I wanted to give that shout out to Clicky because they really went out and did it. They really went out and did it. Look at this stream, 6 hours and 56 minutes uninterrupted. So they're doing things right. They had multiple angles, they had commentators. It was really really great. Honestly, I thought it was outstanding, which is very cool. UK Cuber seems less towards reviews and unboxing more towards news. I think there there's I think there's room for both. James, I'm all for the news meta, much more interesting than unboxings or whatever. It's definitely a change, isn't it, James? Because you and I have been around for a long time. Eggy, I personally just love how speedcubing is growing. And I think that's what we're out here trying to do. All of us, right? Anyone who's making content on speedcubing, you're not just flexing to other cubers. You're trying to, we're trying to grow it, aren't we? That's like the point. Curious Nick likes the rambles. Well, that's good because, because rambles I can do. Um, Kuranir, personally, I would like more high level three blind tutorials. I would like a very, very low level three blind tutorial. If anyone can link me to a very, very low level, like ideally written for chimps, that's what I'm looking for.